Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to World of Tanks. This is Ecology here, and for today's episode, I'm going to be doing the Archer, the Tier 5 British tank destroyer. Now this tank destroyer just recently came out in 9.5 patch, and I've been grinding it to get the Tier 10 tank in this line. From me playing this tank, it's not a bad tank at all. It's pretty fun, and it's very hilarious seeing it drive backwards in battle, as you will see when you watch the battle that I re recorded and will show you guys. Now, the only downside of this tank is its armor. Its armor is cred, as you will see in the video. And I hope you enjoy watching the video, and here's the video now. And here's another battle, and as you see, we're on Muravanka, and I'm also platoon with two of my friends, Human72 in his Churchill 1, and Shade the Wolf in his Syphilis 4, C. The, the Frack Bus, as people call it, and the Toaster, people also call that thing. So... Here goes the battle. This battle was a defeat, but it shows a, the very greatness of the archer and what it does, as you can see in this battle. Now I'm going over to the A1, the 1 and 2 line, because that's the way I, I prefer on this map. I'm, I'm not a fan of the magical forest on this map, but... So I go this way, and... Trying to find a good place to sit to snipe. I'll, I'm, I'll sit behind that, the medium three. I, he, I think I know he knows what he's doing, but, but, so there's some tanks over there. I decided to go over there to help defend base because there's a lot of tanks coming to the base, and I'm like, no, I'm gonna help. So. I see the Sherman 3. He disappeared. I don't know why that happens. That's weird. See, there's my friend. We're both going over there because they're capping. They're capping our base pretty hardcore. Well, not hardcore, but they're someone's on our base. Now, he moves in, and I see the Sherman 3. I stop, aim, and I shoot the three. Now, he complains that I stole his kill because he was aiming on it as well. I'm just like, ha. Then there's a Hetzer. I am on the Hetzer. He's hiding behind stuff. And I bounce the Hetzer. I bounce a 17 pounder shell off the side of the Hetzer. And there's my second kill. I killed the Hetzer. There's a T-34 over there. As I bounce off his butt. I think. And I kill the tank. The tank is now dead. Now I see that there's a Sherman 3. I am at the Sherman 3. And my shell didn't and it missed. My shell did not penetrate him at all. Now I go over here on top of this hill. As you see over here, I'm going up this hill very slowly at 12 kilometers. And I'm going to snipe at anyone that comes into my sight. There's a Sherman 4 at 30% health, or 30 health. And I'm going to snipe him. Bonk. Snipe. That was a very good snipe. Now there's a Covenanter. And I'm shooting at it. And it disappears. So I switch to this one. I'm aiming, I'm aiming, I'm aiming, I'm aiming, I'm aiming. And I miss, because I was anticipating that guy to continue going, and he didn't. So I gave up on him. And I try to kill the Hetzer, but it already died before I fired the shell. Now I'm going to kill this guy. Yep. Dead. Five kills. Now there's another one. Killed. Dead. Now there's the KV-220. I shoot at the KV-220 and do damage. And he backs away behind a building. I tried to before he backed away, but I didn't make it. There's this bloody KV-220. And I didn't scratch him. Which, I'm pretty sure my shell would scratch him. Then I move over here because I know my shell can definitely hit him. And I shoot. And I'm going to shoot again. And he dies. My seventh kill. Now, at this point, we have it pretty much good. We have 
two heavies, a tank destroyer, and a medium. They have two heavies and a medium. Now, but those are KV-220s, which their armor is pretty, very good. And as you see here, I keep missing my shots. All my shots either miss, bounce, or doesn't do nothing to them. And it just really annoys me. See? Nothing. Nothing at all. Now I'm going to wait until he comes out again, aims, fires. Nothing. I'm missing. Like, this is a very accurate gun, and they're just... Nothing. Again, another shell that did nothing. I'm firing in the general location, and it's just doing nothing. Now it disappears, and now I'm slowly going up to it, because I don't know where he is. I'm, I still want to kill him, but... Uh, now we're down to the Churchill and me. And the Churchill's capping. I need him to cap faster, but I need to support him. But I'm so far away. And he just died. My Churchill buddy just died. And now I'm on my own. And I'm trying to go against two KV-220s. Which, at that tier, are very OP. Their hull armor is very good. The only weakness of a KV-220 is their turret. Their turret is weak compared to the rest of their body. So, there's I am. Trying to get the KV-220. But, like I said, this tank has no armor at all. I'm just getting wrecked right here. I'm trying to run away using my very good speed. I'm trying to make them miss, but... I hit that tree. That tree really screwed me over. And I'm dead. Seven kills. I tried my best. The KV-220 is hard to beat. I tried. That's it. And we're back in the garage after that wonderful defeat I just had. And, as you tell, this is a very beautiful and fun tank to drive, but with the downside of weak armor. In that match, I got Mastery Class Sec... Mastery Second Class. Mastery Badge Second Class. Fire for effects, Brewsta, Top Gun, and I did over 1,048 damage. And I hope you enjoy this episode and uh, found it informable. Like and comment and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.